We are now live. And Harvey, okay. what day is it? It is April 26, 2022, corresponding to Nissan Kuf Vav 5782. Uh, very good. Thank you. Okay. So, um, you know, a lot of times I discuss topics where either somebody asks me the question or there's... Uh, or I, ha I have some involvement in it uh, through either through the be being a rabbi or working in the OU. So one of the things that I've been involved with for many, many years is Chametz She'avar Lava Pesach. It was relevant not only for the shul, but it's relevant for the OU as well, because the OU has a few hundred companies that are Jewish owned, and I'm the one that takes care of the Mechiris Chametz. And then we get, at the OU, we get a ton of phone calls after Pesach, people want to know what supermarkets could they buy at, this one, that one. So all, all the, that research has fallen on my shoulders. And about two, there's an organization called ACCO. It's Association of Kosher Communities, maybe, I don't know, AC, uh, ACKO. Whatever it is, ACCO, is, is, it's a, um, an organization that uh, m most of the cashless organizations in America belong to ACCO. The head of ACCO is Rabbi Shalom Fishbane, who's a good friend of mine. He actually, I hired him years ago to work in the OU, and then he abandoned us and went to CRC mm -hmm. in Chicago, and he, he's very prominent. So he's the head, he, he manages ACCO. Hi, welcome back, Jack. Thank you. So, I have to call Zuki. Okay, I'm, I'm just giving an introduction. So, so Rabbi Fishbane called me about two years ago. He wanted to, ACCO should put out a memo about supermarkets because he said ACCO gets a ton of questions, just like the OU gets questions. So um, so we, I agreed to head a committee and then we, and then we put together a, a memo. It's very, very hard to explain this whole Parsha because there's some stores that are, that you have to deal with the store and with the distributor. And some of those stores, the store is Jewish. Some stores, the distributor is Jewish. And then you have to deal with, was there a Mechira or there was no Mechira? And if there was a Mechira, what type of Mechira was it? And because if they, even if they sell the Chametz, or Moshe says you could sell the Chametz, it's a valid Mechira, but then what happens to the Chametz that arise on the, Okay, just put it down, then I'll, 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 yeah. I'll re, realign no, usually myself. The rabbi, usually the rabbi, either the rabbi, either rabbi puts, either either I'll move, puts it over Either there. I'll move my head or I'll... Mm -hmm. Let me do. Yeah, this is good. Okay. So anyway, it's very complicated. Maybe he's eating supper. I'll put it down. I'll just leave it down. Okay. Rabbi, is there no issue with manufacturers? Sure, there's an issue of manufacturers. As I said, there's a, you have to know who the who owns the company and who and who owns the distributorship. Like Stop and Shop is is not Jewish; it's owned by Ahold, I think. But um, but their their supplier is CNS, which stands for Cohen and Siegel, so they're Jewish. But I'm saying even if the store is not Jewish and the supplier is not Jewish, the manufacturer, oh, the manufacturer would have to be... Yeah, the manufacturer, provision. unless right. it's an item that doesn't need hashkacha, if it's under hashkacha, right. the cashless agency is responsible to take care of them. So... so something like flour that... Is, does Chomet Shrafa Lava Pesach apply to flour? I think it's a Suffolk Chomet, because they, where they before they grind the wheat, they temper it. They put it into a... Um, to like a tube that has a, what do you call it, a screw that so turns around and moves the, 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 the wheat so the, the, it does it for a particular a specific amount of time. So it's not clear whether there's enough time for it to become chametz while, while it's in the water. But via so the, uh, there are many communities, so I struggle with this every year and, and we and the, I, we write. It's also so local. What? It's a very local thing, right? You can't determine nationwide. No, you could determine nationwide because yeah. CNS is a national distributorship, oh, okay. and and a lot of these major supermarket chains have stores all over. Like like Albertsons is under. We we supervise some of the Albertsons stores. They're they're, they're national. Uh, right. Acme right. is. But shop, but Shoprite, which is like locally owned, so on. Shoprite local. is owned by sixty different people or seventy right. different people. There's each Shoprite has a different owner, right. and then Shoprite has a distributorship. 
that's called Lake Fern, which is a co-op of all the ShopRite owners. And the majority of the ShopRite owners are, are not Jewish, but some of them are Jewish. So, so now there, there are some Vadim that their policy is you can buy any place. And the reason why that is so is because um, they feel that um, everything's a suffix. You don't know when if you go walk into the store, you don't know. Well, the truth is, if the store didn't do any mechira, then it's, then for the week after Pesach, there's not much of it. Then it's almost certain that it e either the store had it or the distributor had it. But within a few days, there's a there's enough of a suffix to um, to believe that you, it's a it's a suffix on Chomesh Shabbat Pesach. Also. There's different types of mechiras. There's one mechira where you sell the chametz for the store. So Ramosha says, it's a machok, because Ramosha says you could sell the chametz to Satan Rebbe Hold, he tells you not. If the store is operating, he held it's a joke to sell the store. It's harama. But Ramosha held it's not a harama. The guy, he, the, he would rather be a ganav than to own the chametz and be over by your by matzah every minute. But the the problem with selling this, doing a mechira is it only helps to the chametz that was there before Pesach, but the chametz that arrived on Pesach can't sell. So, but that, but so that's where Suffolk comes in. If, if you go to the store and you buy a box of Cheerios in, um, in let's say, Cone and Siegel's had a mechira. So they, their chametz was sold. So now, you, you never know. Now let's say Cone and Siegel delivered stuff to a stop and shop and now the, the two days after pesach you, you want to buy the stuff so you, you don't know whether that stuff the box of cheerios did they did conan siegel have it before pesach in which case the mechira would have helped or did they acquire it on pesach so it's a suffix it's a unknown so there are certain vadim the rabbanim the rabbanim of the vad say listen it's a suffix the rabbanim you don't have to worry about it. And, and there's a basis for that in the Mishtabura on the first page. Mishtabura says, where I have it on the line. If there's a suffix, if it's if it if it belonged to a Jew during Pesach or not, if it belonged to a Jew during Pesach or not, if it belonged to a Jew during Pesach or not, if it belonged to a Jew during Pesach or not, if it belonged to some of you should say that you're, you're, not allowed to, you're allowed to have another, you're not allowed to eat it. And some say it's even mutter and some say it's even mutter and achila. The reason why some are machmer for, for Hana is because Chametz, even if it's an Israel Rabbanon, but Chametz of Pesach is an extension of Chametz and Pesach, so maybe we gave it some of the chumras of Chametz and Pesach. But in any event, but there's, there are though, in terms of uh, Israel achila, it's a machokas, whether it's also achila. And from Ramosh, it's clear that he he he, he felt that he could rely on the lenient view. So if Chavit Shavu Pesach, that's a suffix, is muter b'achila. So what do we have to go through all this trouble for? The, the it's uh, it's there's 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 a whole bunch of mechiras going on. But the the, the primary mechiras for Chavit that they had before Pesach, but it's always a suffix whether they got Chavit on Pesach. So it's, everything's a suffix. So it should be it should be muter. And even even without a mechira. By the time, what what's the turnaround time in the supermarket? I tried to find out many times. I, I spoke to grocery managers and and Jay Blum's father uh, was involved with, with supermarkets. I think he gave me a contact, man. but nobody knows exactly. And every item is different. It could it could be Cheerios turns around uh, in a, in two days, but some other obscure with cereal. What what's the name of that? Um, healthy cereal. Kashi. Kashi. So maybe Kashi takes two months to turn around. Who knows? I don't know. I mean, I guess there are some people that buy Kashi, but... So, you know, we're so conditioned to eat sugar and things like that. So the... Uh, so, but it's it's, it's Sveikis. So the Chara, you should be able to rely on Sveikis. So I had numerous discussions with Rabbi Belsky, Zichron of Racha, about this. And Rabbi Belsky was very adamant that there's no din of Suffolk Durban Lukula on Khamish on in the supermarkets. You can't say Suffolk Durban Lukula. And he had three reasons why he didn't want to rely on Suffolk Durban Lukula. So I'm, I want to discuss the first reason tonight. The first reason was because he said that you're not supposed to rely on Suffolk Durban Lukula. 
It's only after, if you would have bought it already, and now you have a suffix, then you could eat it. But before you buy it, you don't, you don't have a right to, um, to, to buy something based on the suffix of Rabbanu Lekulam. Where did Rabbi Belsky get that from? Mm-hmm. So this is a very, very fascinating and interesting machlokas in the Rishonim. This principle that Rabbi Belsky said, you're not, you can't, you're not supposed to rely on suffix of Rabbanu Lekulam before the fact, only after the fact. It's a machlokas Rishonim. So if you look on the first page, the famous sugya that talks about Sphiris Omer, Bizman Hazeh, is a Gemara in, uh, there's a big Machok Sushanim, is Sphiris Omer, Bizman Hazeh, the Raisa, or is it the Rabbanan? Mm-hmm. Because the Torah links the Omer, Ukhatlachem Yom Havi'achem, it's Omer. You should count from the day you brought the Omer. So some Rishonim say, look, we don't bring Omer, so there's no mitzvah. Other Rishonim say, that that when it says miyom aviyachem it's omer, what does it mean? It just means this 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 the sixteenth of Tezayin, sixteenth day of Nisan. It's a way, of, it's an indicator, but it's not. It, it's nothing. It, it's irrelevant whether they actually brought the carbon of the omer. So the, the machlokus revolves around this piece of gemara, these four lines, and and in gemara menachos and daf samachvav. The Gemara says, or I have it on the line, Gufa, Amar Rabbi, Mitzvah Lamei Mar Yomi, Mitzvah Lamei Mnei Shavui. There's a mitzvah to count the days, and there's a mitzvah to count the uh, the weeks. And that's based on, on the Psukim in the Parsha. Shabbat 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 Teaching by our boy, Betisha Yom. So, but then the Gemara says, But Rabbanan, Devei Ravashi, Mano Yomi, Mano Shavui. So Rabban and the Be'er Rav Ashi, they talk accounted both days and weeks. In other words, yet we, we, let's say if tonight, if the, last night was, was 10, so you have to count, it's 10 days, which is one week and three days. So you're counting the weeks and the days. So uh, Abai says you count the weeks and the days. And Rabban and the Be'er Rav Ashi say you count the weeks and the days. But Amemer only counted the uh, the days and not the weeks. Amar Zechel Mikdashu because nowadays the mitzvah of Sirius Omer is only Zechel Mikdash, it's only the Rabbanan. So therefore, you don't have to be so precise. So the Machokas we showed him is we paskin, not like a member, we paskin that you have to count the days and the weeks. So the question is the 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 the, the, the Machokas, whether you count the days and the weeks or whether you count just the, the days. Is that a machokus, whether it's the rice or the rabbanon, as it would appear from the Gemara here? There are, there are, ash, the Amemar held that it's the only counted days because it's Zecha Mikdash, but the other man, the Lechara, who says you count both, holds that it's, it's still Mitzvah the Raisa. That's what Sarvi Shonen holds. Other Shonen hold. No, everybody agrees it's a Mitzvah the rabbanon. It's just the question how much did Rabbanon, how much did they mimic the Mitzvah the Raisa? It was always a principle of Kain the Raisa, the Mitzvah the Raisa. So did they make it exactly the same as the mitzvah of the Raisa with days and weeks, or did they make a, a, a new a new model? So that's the machok you showed him based on this gemara whether it's a mitzvah of the Raisa or the Rabbana. So Tosa says on the left, this is a very famous Tosa. Zechel mikdashu nira the besofik hashecha yachol varech ve'ein tarach hamten ad shehei v'adegaiga. Bein HaShemashos is a Suffolk Yom and Suffolk Laila. So Bein HaShemashos, how long is it? There's, there's so many different shitas. There's more shitas than hair in your head. But the, the main shitas, there's, well, I don't know, maybe that's an exaggeration. Oh, it depends who's, it depends, it depends who's head. But the, some say it's 13 minutes, 18 minutes, uh, 40 minutes, 42 minutes, 50 minutes, 60 minutes, 72 minutes, 90 minutes, hike, you know, it's like whatever. So, but Ramosha says in America, he said, he's, Ramosha says 50 minutes. And that's what I always go by because since there's so many shitas, who am I to decide which one is more correct? But Ramosha was the post of door, so... We go in Ramosha fifty minutes. So Tosa says that Beinish Mashos, if you want to count Beinish Mashos, you're allowed to count Sfiras Omer. You don't have to wait until it's nighttime. In other words, this business that I am matriach the whole shul that after davening I make this announcement 
that we're going to count three without a bracha, and they have in mind that if you, if you remember later, you're not Yotze now, and then you count later. That is not, according to those, it's not necessary. You're allowed to count Benish Mashes, period. And we, by the time we finish Davening Marev, it's already uh, 10 minutes after Shkia, usually. So, mm-hmm. 10 minutes after Shkia, according to Tosis, is enough to... There to, are shuls that count. There are shuls that yeah, count. Yeah. And they, so they're what following Tosis. Tosis says, mm-hmm. Because the rule is, if you have a suffix about an Isra Drabanan, suffix Drabanan Lukula. For Od Omer, Dafil Biyom, Samach Hashecha, Adav, Mishum, Tmimos, Kidam, Rinu, Leel. And furthermore, Tosis says, that you could even count in the daytime, even before it, it's before it's rain shmashes, before shkia sechama, even if it's definitely daytime. Why? Because since the Torah says you count timimos, you count complete days. So if you're gonna, if any time you count after shkia sechama, it's a suffix whether you have timimos. because maybe we don't know when shkia, when 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 the, the demarcation is between day and night. So if you count, let's say tonight, if you count eight oh two, so maybe maybe it's day, maybe it's night. So the only way, if you want to count the whole day, the only way to do that is to count before the day starts. So shkia tonight was ten to eight. So Tosa says you should count quarter to eight, and that way you um, you have you have tamimos. And then Tosa says ve'ain nira. Tosa says rejects that. He, he doesn't tell us who he's quoting. He's quoting somebody. When he says nira the Vesavik, the Tos is, I, we, I, in one of the shiurim this year, this year I mentioned that the the, um, the, the Chida said that there were about a hundred Bali Tos. It was a lot, a lot of Bali. It was a very big organization of Tamidi Chacham. Mm-hmm. So some, one of the one of the Bali Tos took this position. Then Tos concludes ve'ain nira. Tos says it, I don't, it, I, I don't agree. It doesn't it doesn't seem right. Now it's not clear what part is in there. Tosis said two chedushim. One chiddush is that you can count benish mashes. The other chiddush is that you can count even before shkia. Does he mean ein nira only on the counting before shkia, which is a bigger chiddush, or does he mean ein nira on both? The second chiddush. What would he do the first night when the, when the mitzvah is nigel called? The, the mitzvah, the according to this this sheet in Tosis, the mitzvah is to count beforehand. So the mitzvah is chal before the day begins. Same the first night as any other. It doesn't have to. Yeah, it doesn't matter. It's not, it doesn't have to be Pesach. The mitzvahs count before you. There's no way to count Tamimas unless you count them beforehand. So that that is the mitzvah. Same sort of the exact opposite thing. after you've completed a full day. So that's that's what Tamimas means. Isn't that why we? Isn't that why we're always marich to. Before we, before you we start Shavuos night, we wait till till it's. Yes, because we want to have to me. We want to have that's full days. So that's completing the day. No, but you don't know. But we complete the day. Complete the day. It's not when you count it. All right, but everybody holds. You're supposed to count at night time. In the daytime, it's a machlok. whether it's the avenue you say. Okay, you make a good point. Well, to me, it seems to have contradictory meanings. If everybody holds that you're supposed to count at night, then what are we doing according to this sheet of counting? The, this sheet holds right. that you don't count at night. Right. The, everybody, everybody holds that e, e, either real night or error of the night. But 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 the Eved, if you didn't count at night, so it's, that's the very next piece in Tosis about um, here. The Bahag says that you can count in the daytime if you forgot the night. And Tosis brings a riot to the Bahag. Okay, but anyway, that Tosis says that if you if you have a suffix, you're allowed to count uh Bainish Um because it's a suffix the the and, and 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 what about could you make a bracha in Tosis Tosa says you can count. So you can count okay, it's suffix Rabban Lakula, so but the Evan, you're Yotze because Suffolk the Rabban Lakula. But what about making a bracha? Making a bracha, we always say the other way. We say Suffolk brachas lahakol that you don't make a bracha if you're not sure. So what if you're if you're standing in the twilight time between Shkia and Seis? Do you make a, according to this Tosis? Do you make a bracha? Or you don't make a bracha. So you don't have to think too hard about it because Tosis says you make a bracha. Tosis says near the Suffolk Hashecha Yachol Avarich. Mm-hmm. So it says you you can make a bracha. Doesn't say yachal dimnos. Yeah, it doesn't say yachal. It says yachal And and I and I and I'll, I have a proof anyway. If 
if you if you would not be able to make a bracha benish mashos, then Tosa should have said that you you, you shouldn't count benish mashos because you lose out on the bracha. It's wrong to to count without a bracha. It's not ma'akev, but the evidence if you count without a bracha, you yotze. But it's wrong to intentionally um, aviate the bracha. So from to, to, to the, from this sheet, it's much that it holds that even the bracha you can make. So the question is, why is that? The, it's suffering bracha sahakol. It's suffering bracha sahakol because it's a suffering being mitzvah shem shemayim So why are you allowed to? Why are you allowed to make a bracha? That's a very very big kasha. We'll see. We'll talk about it later on. That's a very important issue. So like this tosis, the rush in the bottom of the page passing is like tosis. I'm just going to trace for you a little bit to be shown him. What they what they hold about this issue. In the bottom page it says Pirish Ri Vinira the Savik Hashekh Yochul Varak Vain Sarah Hamta and Shay Badaga. You could count Banish Mushes, Kevin Shu, Sveka Durban, because it's a suffering in the Durban. For O near the other Tve, some of the Shekh and Mishun to me. And it's also better to count before it gets dark because it's a new. That's the same as Tosis. Well, except he leaves out the Ain Nira part. He leaves out that is hundred percent correct. He leaves out the Ain Nira. So, um, if you look in the um, if you look in the uh, in the uh, on the next page, page three, so the Ran disagrees with Tosis and the Rush. The Ran says um, he says the where I have it underlined near the top of the page. The card the milsa zechul mikdash kila mar meimer. Avu mikol becomes the cause of mechiyah shein asfira achshav el midravanan. The, the, the Ran says that the Sphira is only the Rabbanon because we we count. Um, he has a raya that the Sphira is only the Rabbanon. Ufiqa chaver betosafos, the cave in the mid Rabbanon, he thinks it's the midst of the Rabbanon, tov, shalisper beyond Bishon, besafe chashecha. It's best to start counting the Sphira on the first day, Arab, the, the, uh, the Sphira, when kedei shiu sheva shabbos to me was lagari, in order that it should be complete weeks, what we just saw, ve'ein zeh nachon, it's not the right thing to do. Sheyachnes atzmo besafik lechatchila, to put yourself. It's not right to enter into a situation of safik. In other words, even though if you counted bein shmoshos, we say safik der banu lekula, but you're not supposed to create a, a, a safik situation. You're not supposed to, to act. And when there's not yet a suffix, it's the, right now there's no shayla. You didn't count, so so it's only going to be relevant after you counted. So it's, you, who told you to count? Don't count, and you won't. It won't have a problem. So and he says v'imishun to me most, and he says maybe you'll say though that he he needs to count before banish mashes because it should be to me most. He the the Ran has a different argument than than Tosa said. The Ran uh, Tosa just dismissed it. The Ran says that the it, 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 even though sphere is Durabana now, but it's patterned after spheres which was Daraisa. And it was when it was Daraisa, the um when it was Daraisa, the they had to they 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 had to count in 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 the in the night time, and so why did they have to count in the night time then? <laughs> right, something the rise, yeah, but but I uh, see. I think that Tosis says that you should count before Shkia. I he think says only the first he day. doesn't say. Ron is saying only the first day, so you have a complete set of fifty days. He doesn't say. Not even contemplating that you should do it. The Ra- See, the Ran is different than Tosis. That's true what you just said, but the Ran is different than Tosis. Tosis says you can count before Shkia. Mm-hmm. The Ran says you should count okay. a- after Shkia. Biyom Rishon Besofi Chashecha. You should count during, during Benish Mashos. So the, um, so the Ran says that it, you shouldn't do it first because you shouldn't create a, a suffix situation. And secondly, it, uh, what do you say? You say you're doing it for because it's mimos. In the time of the basic mikdash, when it's the raisa, you couldn't count benish mashes because it's something the raisa is luchumra. So even though you want to get in the mimos, there's no no bravery. You, the only way you get into mimos is you count as soon as you can. So the Ran saying it's not. There's no svar to say that that the requirement of mimos for drabanan. Is different than the tmimus for the raisa. 
But in any way, the important part of the Ran is that the Ran says, mm-hmm. You're not allowed to, to, to do something and say, Ah, it's a Safik Rabbana, now I'm, now I'm clear. Because that's after the fact. But before the fact, who asked you to, to do it? So we have a Machlokas, the Ran, and Tosis. Tosis says that you could count Benish Mashis, because the Safik Rabbana Lakula. Uh, and the Ran holds he can't. We don't know whether maybe Tosis himself, when he says ain't nearer, maybe he's talking about the first case also mm-hmm. of counting Benish Mashis. But either way, it's a uh, machokas. So how do we hold the halacha? What's the what's the halacha about counting Benish Mashis? What do we what do we have to do in the shul? Oh, and you you guys, you'll, I asked in my email if you saw it. What's the what? How would you connect? Pesach to Sirius Omer to buying chametz after Pesach. He just did it. Just so now Betzal <laughs> was machaving. He sent me an email. But, but the the connection is, if the, if you want to go to the store and buy chametz after Pesach based on Safik Rabban Lakula, because you don't know for sure whether it was in the store or not in the store. So Rabbi Belsky said, the Ran says you're not allowed to create a Safik Rabban. You're not supposed to enter into a state of suffolk to begin with. Yes? How do we know whether the Ran means that as a general rule in all sake of Rabbanan? Or maybe he's just saying, why should you count now? Wait another 40 minutes and count when you know that it's that when, when it's Vajai. But right. maybe if you, you're not going to be able to buy the Cheerios... And you're you're gonna have to find something else to eat for breakfast. Maybe that's a su- sufficient reason to say Safik Rabban Lakula. Yeah, but why would it be different than Sphira? Because in the case of Sphira, what do you lose? You wait forty minutes. Okay, so you're saying that maybe the round, maybe the maybe even if you say that it's not Nachon to enter into a Safik, that's only if there's no compelling reason. But if there's a compelling reason, maybe it's permissible. That's a possibility. Awesome. You live without Cheerios. You wait a couple of days, you'll have your Cheerios. Okay, so everybody, yeah, in every it depends how old you are. And it, <laughs> 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 eat Takashi. No, no <laughs> there are yeah, certain people that can't eat well. chicken without uh, ketchup. You, you know, you know? Ukraine, you could and when they came out with Heinz ketchup last no. year, it was a big simcha. Yes. <laughs> also, the run, the run in a different place talks about. Uh, uh, um, uh, which kosos you lean for, right, right, and why does why wouldn't it, it, uh, and, and he says that he gives two reasons why we lean for all four rather than saying um, each of them suffix Durabhan and Lakula. Why, why, if, if this is a principle that he really holds, why wouldn't he say, uh, you shouldn't be mocking yourself to a suffix Durabhan and so therefore, you know, Lakatila, so therefore you lean for all the cups? So I thought of that question. Okay. The proof is because on page five, I have the run that you're quoting. On page five, the bottom page five, the Gemara says, I won't read the whole Gemara, but the Gemara says, it's a machok, is whether you do have say, but the first two kosos or the last two. Some say, first two, you're still avadim, and only free afterwards. The others say that, that after the first two, it's already after the gu'ua. So, to, so the Ran says, on the bottom, the avagav the ba'al makayim ba'al ipcha the kol sovi Oh, so the Gemara says, um, if you look at the last line of the Gemara, um, the last two lines. Since it's, a, it's there are two different opinions, so we do both. We we do a same on all four courses. So the Ran says, Normally we we say So why do you have to do all four? You're you're a svar, pretty much. And it, since it's not a tircha, then therefore you should, it's better to do it. He say, there's no, you could say something to Rabbi Lakula, but which course are you going to take? Are you going to, are you going to only do the first two or only do the second two? And, uh, 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 and and if you don't do any, so then the mitzvah is totally not you fulfilled. The mitzvah you're not the mitzvah altogether. Mm-hmm. That's the Ran's turn. So the, what David is asking is, this bothered me very much. The why why does the um, 
Why doesn't the Ran give a different terence? The Ran should say that since you're not supposed to be machnas yourself into a suffix, so that's why you have to drink all four kosas. Because otherwise you're 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 creating the suffix. You're creating your own problem. Maybe you would not be upset. That's the question. So I looked and I looked to see if somebody asked it. Nobody asked this question. At least I couldn't find it. So that proves that there's an obvious answer to the question. <laughs> Otherwise, somebody would ask it. Could I suggest that the obvious answer may be that what the Ran is saying on page three is actually the same as his first answer on page five? That there's no tirka. It's, it's so easy. It's, it, on page five, he's saying it's so easy to, 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 to have four, four cups, so why not? And on page three, he's saying, just wait another few minutes and count up your face. It's so easy. I mean, the reason why why you're not supposed to enter into a suffix is, is because why should you if it's so easy? Maybe. What is, what's the language of the run? It sounds a little different. It sounds like it's inappropriate. Okay, I hear. Okay, I hear. But I, 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 yeah, some. In general, does hold. You can't. It's not just in Tres Omer that you can use this as Pasca. The Ram is saying it's Pasca and you shouldn't enter yourself into Mako Kana. There are other passages where the Ram says that? There are, there are many Achronim who use this. They apply it. They apply oh, this in many, many terms. Uh, well, I'm, 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 I'm right. questioning. Right. The, question, <laughs> and, and, and the question is, is it's obviously, you know, the definition of what's easy versus what is not easy mm -hmm. is challenging. It's very, subject, many very subjective. Many people have forgotten to count Sirius Omer and lost the mitzvah because they didn't count at that time because it was easy to wait a couple of minutes. It might not be so easy. That's true. Uh, I thought that the answer to David's question is that by 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 uh, Haseba, once you drink the first two kosos, you already have a suffix You you you. It's after the fact. The the Ran says you don't create suffix before the fact. He, Ran's talking about where you have to do something to create a suffix derabanan. Where you're going to count sphere of Mashal, so you're creating the suffix derabanan. He says. Don't create, just leave it alone. But in the case of Beseva, you have to drink something, Beseva. So whichever you drink Beseva, I mean, if you're gonna drink something, it's logical to start with the first tube. But even if you wanted to drink the last tube, you have to drink something with Beseva. Now that you drank it with Beseva, now it's already Bidiyevin. It's no longer, it's not L'Chathil. You're not entering the suffix L'Chathil. You already, now you have a, a, a shy, do you have to drink more? You already, you already, in the in the Rand, the Rand, when he says his rule, he's talking about before you count the sphere. So before you count the sphere, you can wait till nighttime. You don't have to count banish mushes. This is it's a difference between before the suffix is nolad or after the suffix nolad. In the case of the Ran, by a seva, the 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 person is going to be asking the question after the suffix. Was no one. After he did the first two, now he wants to do after the next two. The question is on the first two. He didn't have to do the first two. First no, two, but he had to do something. The first two, do I have to be right, massive or not? Yes, true, but he, but he had to do something. Well, there's he, a, there's a, but there's a sheet that says that the mitzvah is on the last two, not the first two. So, but, but he can't, he's not, we don't have a ruach kodesh, so he has to do something. <laughs> let him do the first two, let him do the last two, whatever two he wants. But now the question is, now that he only did two, does he have to do two more? Okay, so that's that. After you've done the, after, if you, if you've done okay, the that's an interesting question. Before, if you, if, if, you would you have to drink? Ready, well, that's a good question. Maybe you wouldn't. Maybe it's impossible to do the first two, because uh, yeah. Okay, there's a there's a very fascinating Basil Levy about this uh, run. It's a long piece about it where he, where he deals with these issues, but but in any event, if once you drank the first two. So now it's 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 already been the evidence. Then it is. The question is on the first two. Right, you didn't have to drink. So the I first say two. you had to drink the, the, the had to drink the first two because otherwise. You, you not, not, not with a saber. Not with a saber you didn't. What? Not with a saber you didn't. That's the homework locus. Whether you need to. Do no, the, but since be, the first two need, need a saber. No, but or not. on the contrary, since you're not supposed to enter into a suffix, 
So there's so the you sh, you should drink the first two with a seva. Right. Why are you going to create a suffix for yourself? But that's right. implicit. So, that's implicit in the Ran. He doesn't even have to say that. It's obvious that you have to do a seva for the first two because of what the Ran says on page three. Mm-hmm. Maybe, maybe that's what I'm suggesting. Okay. Anyway. So the Ran, we have a machokus, the Ran, and... What you're saying is that if he's not leaning when he has the first two, he created the... That's yeah, something he created. So he has, he has to do the first two with a seva. So not to create a suffix. And now that he, that he ate, drank the first two with a seva, so now it's already been the oven. Now he could say, I don't, I don't feel like doing the last two. But, but it, doesn't his second answer not really fit with that? No, the second, I'm not giving an answer to the Ran's kasha. I'm saying why the Ran didn't give your answer. Hmm. The Ran doesn't say that you're not supposed to create a suffix because the, the, you're not creating a suffix. Once you, you have to drink the first two, once you drink the first two, that are seva, so then, then the suffix already exists. But in the case of Svir Omer, the suffix only comes about if you... If, 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 even beforehand, if the, 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 there's a suffix even beforehand, but that, that, that the Ran says don't, then you're creating that suffix. It's not, a, it's not already a suffix. Okay, let's see. But this machokas, so this is a very important machokas. If you hold, if you would hold like, like Tosfus and the Rush, then we could do away with this uh, institution in the shul of making it tonight. There will be no problem. But if you don't, if you hold like the Ran, so then I'm justified. Mm-hmm. So that's the question. Do I have, did I, do I, am I doing the right thing or not? That if it was not, uh, if it was not uh, counting early, counting later. Oh, what was that? Yeah, whether so count, the counting early with, with uh, no, not the chametz, counting early with the time. Right. But the chametz would be the same issue. If you hold that you're allowed to create a Suffolk Garbonin, so then you could go shopping mm-hmm. and uh, buy the chametz and you'll say, listen, don't bother me. It's a Suffolk Garbonin. That, that was very Belsky's time. According to the Ran, you, you don't create, you're not supposed to. Ein ze nocho shi yachnes atzbo besofek lechatchila. Belsky is very brilliant. So that was his time. And, and you'll see that the halacha we pass like the Ran and not like Tosis. So the tour says, this, this machokas plays itself out in the tour as well. The tour was the father of the rush. So in the bottom of the page, the tour says, Uzman ha'asvira mitchilas halayla. Page three, the bottom, the bottom of the page is where it says Orachayim Hilchas Pesach. That's the tours Orachayim. Mm-hmm. So he says Uzman in the middle of the page where it's underlined Uzman Hasvira Mitchila Salayla Afilo Einu Laila Mamish El Safik Hashecha Yochal Uspar. You could count already in the beginning of of, of Ben Shmashes. You don't have to wait until Zaysik Kacharim. He, he means to say that the halacha is like, like Tosis. And even though Tosis says lo nira, but the tour is passing like his father, the Rush. The Rush said it is nira. The Rush said, the Rush quoted Tosis and he doesn't conclude as you pointed out. He doesn't say we don't, we don't know the way. He doesn't say bracha here too. He says in part. What? The, the, um, the, the tour doesn't say that you, that, you, that you make a bracha. Right. He, in fact, he specifically right. and, and the Right, the tour doesn't oh, say it. Said specifically, we do. Yeah, I mean, it, it, we're, we're, I'm getting. No, he says. Yeah. He's talking about Zmana Sphira, so. Yeah, I mean, there's no, there's no deal that it, you wouldn't make a bracha. Right. Okay, let's see now. The Beis Yosef, oh, let's see the Bach. The Bach says on the left side. Right side. On the right side, yes. Thank you. Kakos of Rosh Bishem Rabbeinu Yeruchim. The Kach, I think this is that Rabbi Yerucham. I don't know. The Rush, called, the Rush didn't quote anybody, did he? he didn't, who, the Rush just says it on his own name. He doesn't quote it from somebody. The Rush quotes it from the oh Pirish Re. Oh, so the Bach says it, that it's the Re the Rio. I don't know, man. I don't know what that what the abbreviation is. The Kach of the Smag essay. Reish b'shem harashba. Ava haran kosev dein enochon. The rush says you could. The ran says you shouldn't. The kach kosev v'tosim menochos. And tosim menochos says like the ran. The kach kosev rashba tshuva demavdak to give any sovat sevik chavim chen roi lasos 
אבל מן העולם, אך שלו ברך מסמך ראשיך. תוסס, רש בן התשובה says that it's better really to count at night. But the minak olam is the count banish moshes. I will call them to be chashecha pshitin uvarach afi uvarach shavas. So the 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 Bach he says that the um, the 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 machokas the rush the tosis and the rush is a machokas as well between the uh, the the Rashba and the um, the Rashba says that he thinks that you. Um, that you shouldn't, that you, like the Rashba, logically he holds like the Ran, but he says the Minigoyalum is not that way. The Minigoyalum is like the Rush. If you look on the on the right side, the left side, the uh, the Beishosa says, Kosov Rush, Venira, the Suffolk, Hashech, Yochel, Varach, and so Hamten, that she had Bani Gail, came in the heavy speck of the Ravanan. He quotes the Rush that you can count even be, be, during Banish Mashes, and then he quotes the Ran, but Ran Kosov, רוב המפורשים מסכימים לספיר שאומר השתה דרקה אבו לא קרמן אלו מדרבנם ואוס רישון אמרו לספיר שאומר זה מצוות רבנם זכר מקדש ולפי חרום ולטוסו זה תקיים דרבנו תלוס בר ביום ראשון וסביך השיכה כדי שיהיו שבע שבוס תמיס לגמרי it's better to count Benish Mashes, because that's the way you have to be most. Ve'en ze nochon she'yachnes atzmo v'sof v'chathila. So the Ran, the Ran quotes, the Ran says that the, the Bali Tosa said that, you, that it's better to do it, and the Ran himself says that it's better not to do it, because you're creating a suffix. And then he says, I have an underline again, we choose the Rashba Kosov, Tzibar Shetar B'yom HaMuna, Mabirch HaSvir HaSomer, Chosrim, it was a rainy day, cloudy day, a rainy day. And they thought it was already night time, so they counted the Svira, and then the, 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 the sun came out. So Chosen, the Hechi, and, and, and now they have to repeat it. When you said it was still good. Oh, oh, the Hechi, 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 they don't count until say Sakhovim. So where that language that the Medakta can wait till say Sakhovim is is is, is it, this is in the Chuvas Harashba. But it's not so interesting. He says the Medakta can wait till Sais, and then he says the Kachum Minagolam. But that's not the exact opposite we said before. No, that was that was that was the uh, the Bach. Medakta in the Shach says the Chenroy Lasos. Oh, I'll come to Shono. And then he says, Yeah, Vikacha Minagolam is the Beis Yosef's commentary. I mean, the Rashba, the Rashba, the Rashba quotes the Minagolam. The Rashba's Minagolam is that they don't. And the Beis Yosef, that nowadays the Minagolam is differently. So, not in Krakow. Not in Krakow, but we'll see. So, you turn to the next page. The next page we have, in the middle of the page, this is Shulchan Aruch. Im tov biyom ha-ma'unan, uvircho al-sviras ha-omer, chosrim lispar kish etekshach. If it was cloudy, and you counted sviras ha-omer, you have to count again. He, the Mephoshim say he means if, if it was before shkia, before sunset. The medaktikim wait to count until until tzeisikachavim. So who's the uh, shulchan aruch passing like? He's passing like the the ran, like the ran. And if you look at the beer agra on the bottom, the mash. Uh, um, no, is it? The Medakta Kim. Yeah, the Mashka is Jacob. Oh, yeah, he says he says the Medakta Kim is the is the Shita of the of the Ran. And the and the Ran says, the Masha Kosul came to Sveka Drabanan. The Ran says, even though Tosa says it's a Savik Drabanan, we call it come any nocha shaft is asked for Savik Drabanan. It's not right to be nicholas into a Savik Drabanan. The the uh Shulchanarch here has a, uh, a a different suggestion what you should do. If you want, if it's Banish Mashos, if look in Sif Gimel. And th- this is what we do in Shulham. 
Money my bracha, when you yes go bracha, you are for the yisbar. If you're if you're diving with the tzibur and they're counting, so you should count with that. And it's and it's early. It's old young, which before should say means before before it says. So you should count with them, but you should count without a bracha. If you remember at night time, you should count. So the question is, how could you count if you remember? But you maybe you already yotze. How could you count with a bracha? If you're gonna count mashas, so you already yotze. It's a suffix if you yotze, so you shouldn't make a bracha. So in the Magen Avram and the Taz here, they talk about and the Mishnebura. I'm not gonna read it inside, but they will talk about what you should do is you should make it tonight. You should you should say the. Um, that if it, you know what? In this couple of lines, you're having less than this Yeah. What? It's in the Magenavron, the last line you underlined. The myth. Okay. In this couple of lines, you're having less than this year. In this couple of right? Correct. The Mishnabura says it. I have the Mishnabura on the next page, on page five. It seems a little wishy washy, doesn't it? The Mishnabura explains it clearly. The Mishnabura says on the top of the page on the left, Yesh Macharonim Shapir Shua, the Hainu Ben Ishmashes. When the Shulchan Aruch says you should count me bod yom without a bracha, they mean Ben Ishmashes. The who suffix like the Yotzim Esi De Esfiru, the Poskim De Esfiru, the 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 Esfiru, to who yim nei mohem pen yishkach achakein, he should count with them, so he shouldn't forget. The yachshu b'dayto im eskar achakav laigo minolos enani rotsa rotsis misirazu. If I remember later, then I'm not yotzei now. The alkein kishegi asman achakach yivar v'yispar, and therefore later on you should count and make a bracha. So, so the shulchan aruch's eitz is exactly what we do in shul. Since the shulchan aruch passing is like the ran. So you're not supposed to count, uh, you're not supposed to enter into a suffix. So therefore, he has an eight, so is he should make it tonight. When you count, you have in mind, if, if I won't be Yotze, if I won't remember to count later, I'm Yotze now. So you lost the bracha, but at least you counted. Uh, but if, if I do remember, so then I, I, I'm not Yotze with this counting, and I'll, I'll be able to count it later. There are, the, the Taz doesn't seem to agree it's too long to go through it now, but the Taz disagrees completely with the Magad of Ram. He, he also he can't make such a Tanai, because it's a Tanai on Kavana. Tanai is always in a transaction, but you can't... Do you want to be Yotze? You don't want to be Yotze. You can't say, I'm, I'm only Yotze if this happens and that happens. So the, um, the bottom line here is that, um, that what Rabbi Belsky suggested, that you shouldn't, that you shouldn't count his first reason that you shouldn't count, um, they shouldn't buy chametz, is because of an application of the svar of the ran. And you see that the, the even though the tour paskins like Tosvis and the rush, but the Beis Yosef paskins like the ran, and the Ramad doesn't disagree. And the be, the most that the Beis Yosef says you could do is you can make it tonight if you want. But otherwise, the halacha is you should, you're not supposed to go create a a sake of the rabbanon. Okay, so I I always thought that the 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 is is the, is the medaktikim. It's the same thing. I mean, the the gra when he explains the medaktikim, he quotes the language of the ran. So the the gra is equating it, but I saw on some. Some say for online, he's, he wanted to make it into three way machokas. Mm-hmm. And there are those that say tosis holes. You could be, you could, you could make the bracha of and the and the Iran says that it's you, you, you're not allowed to make it because you're not allowed to create a zavik and and the Rashba says that if you're from the medakta kim, you shouldn't do it. It's like a. a, a Meikar Adin, you're allowed to do it, but it but it would be but I'm not, yeah. But whatever the difference between the doctor and somebody else is machmer. Right. Yes. What's the time of the general objection to uh, making it tonight? Because we do it all the time, like on Pesach, we don't put on. If you put on filling, you make it tonight. We make it tonight. Yeah, but there you're making it tonight in an action. 
he holds you can't make a tnai on, on a thought. You, you, you're counting sphere and you, and you want, well, well, no, the, well, the tnai, it, it would, would you, you're asking very good, you're asking, the tnai would, would transform, if you say, ayom, shnaim, yomim, whatever, so the tnai transforms it into not a mitzvah, if, if the tnai gets fulfilled. So you want to know why it's different than, uh, I don't know, maybe, Maybe the Taz Halsey can't make such a tnai either. I don't know. You can't. You can't. You can't make such a tnai by tefillin either. Maybe I don't know. The Taz doesn't hold a tnai by kavana. Yeah, you're right. It's a good point. So probably tefillin will be the same. Because sometimes when women light candles, right? The same women light yes, they make a tonight. That it, that it, it, they're not. Well, that tonight is a different kind of tonight. That tonight is not a conditional tonight. We call it tonight, but then they're not. They're not makabel shabbos. That's all. Lighting candles, action. Yeah. It's a good point. Okay, so I want to let's just conclude with the following question: What? 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 How? What? How, what, how we, we lighting candles, but it's not Shabbos. Right, you're allowed to light candles before Shabbos. The Rambam says. So I want. What's the machlokas? The the the. I didn't see anybody explain it. What's the tut stadim? Why does the Ran uh, hold and other Rishonim hold that you're and the Rashba, whether it's the Medaktikim or it's the Ikra Din, they're not supposed to create a suffix And Tosis and the Rosh say you're allowed to create a suffix so I thought that the machokas has to do with a with the following shaila. When you, I, I raised this before. Tosa says that when you count benish mashes, you can count with a bracha. Why can you count with a bracha? It's something brachas. So there's a savior called Eretz Svi, and many people have the same discussion, but this is just one. Eretz Svi is Rav Svi Frimer, page six. He says... He's in the middle of discussing this whole topic, but I'll just say, "Uvanya ani matzasi be ezus Hashem yisbarah betoros minachas the sham bevur lehedra kamagin abram shikasam the sham." He he quote I don't know where the magin abram is, but he says the magin abram says that you could count svira with a bracha. Mishum the the when benish mashes mishum speaker the wrong kula. So he says the mutter levarech gamkein ein sham. The kosher in your bracha, Adam, and name a suffix bracha hakol. Why? Why are you allowed to make a bracha? The there the suffix cuts the other way. So he says, the alkor alkain alkorcha the came in the mikayim it's a sphere. I mean, sad it's fake it wrong. Kula kosher kevada mitzvah v'shayech varech. Since he's since he's um, since he's being yod say the mitzvah sphere. Since so he's so when he counts many shmash he's he's definitely yotze the mitzvah. So if he's definitely yotze the mitzvah, he definitely can make a bracha. And then he says he repeats himself later on. Where it's on the line, when you when you do a mitzvah based on suffix the it's not a suffix mitzvah. It's a uh, it's a vaday mitzvah, so I thought that, and that's why you can make a bracha. So I thought that the machlokas, whether you're allowed to create a uh, a um, a situation of suffik, will be dependent on the shayla. If you'll say that suffik darbana means that chazal said whenever, let me just first explain better. The issue is when when suffik darbana is the pshat that we know that there's a fifty fifty chance that you're not being yotze. But Chazal say, don't worry about it. They didn't say, you're for sure Yotze. You, maybe you weren't Yotze. But the Suffolk Rabbana says, you don't have to be concerned about that possibility. The other possibility is Rabbana that Yotze. Rabbana said, on a Rabbana, Suffolk is also good. That, that's not, it's not a maybe. It's a, it's a Vaday. So, he, the, so the Eretz Tzvi says that since you make a Bracha, Tosa says you make a Bracha. So that's clear proof. That that you yot say b'taras vaday. It would be just a suffix, You should make a bracha. So I want to say that if you're if you're being yot say as a vaday, so then the Ran's argument doesn't hold up. The Ran says it's ain't an achon to be machdis yourself into a suffix. If you're making a, a bracha, if, if you're if it's if you're making a bracha, you see it's a vaday. So if it's a vaday, so you're not being machdis yourself into a suffix. 
since Suffolk Rabbanu is gonna is gonna establish that this what you're doing is a vaday mitzvah, so you, you didn't cut corners. You did it a hundred percent. That's what I would say, according to the um, according to the Eretz And a lot, a lot of the Achronim say the same the same thing, that it's not a you're not yotze mi Suffolk. You yotze mi Tarzani. The problem though with this is that if that would be true, what I just said, then it would be a stira in in the Rishonim because th- he's explaining why you can make a bracha, and I'm explaining why you uh, why you shouldn't count bena why 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 you why you why why according to Tosis you could count bena shmoshes, and Tosis holds. If if you'll say that the reason why you can count Benish Mashis is because your your Vada Yotse no so uh, no uh, no no so Tosis works out good. The uh, the the problem is gonna be the Ran. The Ran holds the Ran also holds that if if, if you would count Benish Mashis you can make a bracha. I I brought you a proof before because if you couldn't make a bracha then you should have said you can't count Benish Mashis, you may battle the bracha. So the Ran also holds that you that you, that you can make a bracha. So if the Ran holds you make a bracha, that means that the Ran holds you yotzi v'taras vaday. If you yotzi v'taras vaday, so why does the Ran say that you're not allowed to mach yourself into a sofik? <laughs> the way I set it up, it, it doesn't work out. So I would say... So, the Ran may have another reason why you can make a bracha. Well, either that, or I would say that maybe the Ran, the Ran does agree that, that, you're, that you're being yotzi in the midst of v'taras vaday. But nonetheless... He, it's he, once you do it. It's only yeah, once only you do one, it. Yeah. Once you've done it, so then, then it's a vada. <laughs> That's a vada. Right. But but who who asked you to create this new situ- circumstance? Right. Yeah. Don't create it. Don't do us any favors. Wait. Yeah, better to wait, and then you can. No, but I'm saying, yeah, the, the Ran, Ran holds. The, what did you just say again? <laughs> <laughs> the, Ran, the Ran says you shouldn't do it. Right. Yes. But if you do do it, you're still yotzei. Yes. Right. So the question is, is it, is it a vaday or is it suffix? You say he doesn't address that. But I, but right. would be but you shouldn't put yourself in that situation with Yeah. So I, I would say that the Ran holds that you are yotzei because otherwise you couldn't make a bracha. So then, so then it goes back again. So, what, so what's the svara according to the Ran? What's what, so what's what's so there is so the the, the machlokus is not whether it, you're yotzi the mitzvah. The machlokus is whether doing it in a way that you'll be yotzi the mitzvah. It, the the tosis holds. I don't I don't have to restrict myself. The mice I'm being yotzi the mitzvah hundred percent. So why do I, and the Ranals, it's true, you'll be out say a hundred percent, but you but you shouldn't enter into that type of situation. There's a discussion in the Gemara whether by by Davashesha Matirim, do you say Safi Drabanakula? It ties into this as well. Whether whether by Safi Drabana is it for sure that you're Yotse or is only a Safi? Okay, I didn't get to the Rabbi Belsky's other two reasons, maybe next week. I'll I'll listen. Yeah. My pleasure.